Meanwhile, back in the jungle. Catholic Special Forces strike back against the pagans, this time on the traditional Roman Catholic. From a vehicle storage lot in an undisclosed location, here's another episode of the traditional Roman Catholic. Hello friends, Hank Digiter here, and with me is my associate, Mr. Dogma. He's kind of pooped here. The Pan-Amazon Synod pretty much wore him out, and I bet it did you as well. What a mess. It's winding down now. We have a couple of uh, abominations left, I'm sure, with the, uh, the closing ceremonies. But for me and for probably many of you, the highlight of the whole thing was that daring commando raid by faithful Catholic special forces. They hit the pagans right where it hurt. I wonder how wonder how future generations are going to look at this turning point in the Catholic Church. Let's imagine. October 2019. The Eternal City is besieged by pagans. On the very hill where St. Peter was martyred, a spectacle like no other is about to take place. Pagans swarm Vatican Hill. They engage in silly dances. More silly dances. Mindless rituals but worse is to come. In the very sight of the Curia, they bow down before pagan idols, while men who know better do nothing. As abomination is heaped upon abomination, faithful Catholics have had enough. Catholic commandos gather, they prepare, and when the time is right, they strike. Exhausted by their revels the night before, the heathens sleep on, completely unaware that justice is coming. The church they've polluted with the images of devils is lightly guarded. Like clockwork, the commandos strike. They gather up the heathen idols. The graven images are given the send-off they deserve. This blow for the freedom and exaltation of Holy Mother Church is heard around the world, and soon others respond. Faithful Catholics have had enough. Faithful Catholics will no longer tolerate blasphemy. These idols are given exactly what they deserve the Deep Six. Wow. Well, of course, you would expect that they would eventually recover the idols, uh, especially since they're made of wood and they float, and the Italian police uh, claimed that they fished them out of the Tiber. Or maybe the, uh, somebody from the Curia went to, uh, to myidols.com and, and ordered some more. But I'm sure they're going to be all over the place for the remainder of the, uh, the Synod. And that's really not the important thing. Think about the Boston Tea Party. Those uh, crates of tea floating around the harbor, probably some uh, disgusted Tories and, uh, and loyalists fished them out of the drink and uh, you very huffily and grumpily made tea with them and just... Uh, tut-tutting about the, uh, what the colonials were up to, nobody remembers them. They don't remember whether or not those crates of tea were fished out of Boston Harbor. They remember that patriots fighting tyranny threw them in. Till next time.